Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. Well, in this episode, we're gonna take a look at the GEPRC Cine Log 30. This one's a little bit different looking than the Cine Log 25 because it's larger in size. They also changed up the colors. So you can see that I've got red on this side, uh, gray on this side. I got some red props on this side, black props on that side. Now, let me say this, it's windy today. Every time I come out to review a pusher drone, it's windy. So if you see this camera or the image of me going side to side, that's the wind blowing. Everything is just blowing around here. Can you see the tree back there? It's blowing. Every time I come out to do pusher drones, it's blowing. So I'm going to do this one really quick to get going. All right. So here is my GEPRC CD Log 25. And here is, oops, I'll put it this way so you can see it. 25. And this is a 30. So 25 means 2.5 inch props. And that's what's on this. And 30 means 3 inch props. If you put 3 inch props, you need bigger motors smaller motors you see how this is going the bigger the drone gets well the specifications just seem to go up in most cases anyways so i flew this one before and i loved the cine log 25 i raved and raved and raved about it so i've got to love this one the cine log 30. i've only flown it in my house and it's pretty decent the only big difference is you know honestly i think the flight controllers are the same this one's got uh, five bladed props on the bottom and it does have a Cadex Nebula Pro camera, I believe. This one here has the uh, Cadex uh, Vista Polar, which is a new camera on the market because of the chip shortage. So DJI got out of the business of making these little cameras and all this stuff because it was too expensive for them with their chips and everything. So Cadex still does it. They use, I don't know, some sort of different types of chips and this is their new version never flown with this outside so i'm going to be trying it today in the wind also the motors are obviously different uh, they both take 4s batteries and uh, this one here i think it was rated to take maybe mm, max 450 or 650 battery you know it adds a lot of weight and this one here it's just standard at 650 and you, and you can go up from there so today when i fly it where's my battery so i do have a 650 a four cell 650 right here really high c rating so it should be good problem is i mentioned in every video the camera i put on the front uh, this is an iflight go camera it's like the smo 4k it's like the naked gopros they're very light the only way i think like 30 grams or something like that so you use them on pusher drones Problem is they have no battery. Whoa, the wind is blowing again. Problem is they have no battery in them, so they have to take the power from the battery you stick on the drone. But that battery is supplying all the power to the motors, the flight controller, ESCs, the camera in the front, the video signal coming back. So when you then add this camera, it sucks out a lot of power, so your flight time shortens, which is unfortunate. What else do I have? Oh, I have, oh, I thought I had a bigger battery. I have a smaller battery of 550. This one's got a really high C rating. So my, my prediction right now is is it should fly well uh, since it's windy out I'll try to keep it lower to the ground and fly it around and buzz it around here at least you're gonna see this flying on a windy day I will say if you're a newbie and you want to fly a drone an FPV drone for the first time avoid windy days always fly on non windy days if you're just starting out for your first while it's very difficult to fly FPV on windy days uh, and this is a pusher drone I've been flying for a long time so it'd be easy for me but yeah you never know we could have a crash today and I should mention just like my Cine Log 25 uh, it's totally digital you can get them in an analog version, but since it's totally digital, I have the DJI FPV goggles here and the DJI radio. I asked them not to put a receiver in it, so it's just plug and play. I'm just going to connect right to the Cadex Vista Polar thingy, and this will connect direct to it, and we can just go fly, which is this. All right, so I've got the 650 milliamp hour 4S battery on the back, and I am going to plug in the power right now. This wind is actually kind of cold. Yikes. So there we go. So I've got power. ESC's all boot up. I'm leaving the camera kind of forward uh, because I'm going to try to keep it low to the ground and fly a little bit slower. So I've got it set at, you know, you can fly at medium speed this way. All right, so I'm just going to spin this camera around so it's looking over at me and it will be looking at me as I take off. All right, so goggles on. Uh, just to remind you, I'm going to show you video from the Polar camera, which is recorded in these goggles, as well as the 4K iFlight uh, Go Cam up front. So you should be seeing an image of the camera looking at me from the go cam and let me just find acro mode here acro mode and then arm it it is pretty darn windy here we go take it up nice and slow there we are fly over me by beside me now one thing i have to warn you about is that this here drone uh, is not designed to fly in the wind so i have to keep it low to the ground here so that's why you see me flying really low to the ground in all these areas. 
there I am over there and coming back to me you can see I have a camera a GoPro on the ground over here so I'm gonna fly right up to it I'll just go sideways here and come over to the GoPro I can hover down here because I'm out of the wind but if I go in the wind not as good there's a little GoPro there and go around there's my little uh, Jeep it flies just like the previous model, which makes it just freaking amazing for flying. Now you can see it is windy out here and it's doing quite well. Check this out. If I go up and look at the electric uh, prop up here that blows in the wind, it faces the wind. So the wind is coming from that direction and it's just uh, cranking up. So let's go down nice and low down here. And uh, whoa, the wind's got me again. So I'm just going to get out of the wind and drive around the school back here. There we are. Should be a nice smooth flight. Stay along the fence. Try not to hit the fence. Let's go this way. And go over here and try not to plop into the water. You can see the wind is blowing the water something fierce. Then go down close to the water. Whoa, not into the water. I was looking at something else. There we are. So let's go this way. Come back up to me. There we are. I have some speed because I'm going with the wind now. Whoa, somebody on a motorcycle. So as I'm flying here, you probably notice if I show you the camera from the forward section, you can see the two motors up front, obviously. Uh, that's because I have the camera looking directly forward. There. It's an easy drone to fly. Pusher drones are really simple to fly. Uh, they stay low to the ground. You can just buzz along. They're like a hovercraft in many regards. Here, I'll go between me and the, whoa, me and the camera. <laughs> Let's try to get that a little bit better here. <gasps> try not to walk my, bang, bang into my head with all this wind blowing here. Let's go under, let's go underneath the, the Jeep a little bit. There we go. <laughs> whoa. There's the guys over here. Oh, what are they doing? Oh, he's going to fly a plane. All right, there's Jacques over here. There's his helicopter. Right up in the air. Stay under him. So that Jacques right there, he probably doesn't even notice that I have a drone around him because with the wind he can't hear it. And if I look this way, we'll see his helicopter. There it is. Let's go up. I'll try not to hit it. This is heli. That's a big one. All right, so what I'm going to do now is uh, I'm just going to fly, ooh, fly over this and I'm going to bring, I'm in the wind here, I'm going to bring it back to me. I'll go around this little shed. Yeah, the wind's blowing me. It's hard to get around the shed. Jeez, I'm almost touching the roof. All right. Bring it down. Boink. Well, that's not the best landing, but I landed. Okay, so you're interested in this drone, I bet, and you probably want to know what comes in the box, so I'm going to show you that now. Check this out. Here's what comes in the box. This is the box your drone comes in, and these are the specifications of the drone I received. Opening the box, we find our drone, and you will see that it is made out of carbon fiber and plastic. Up front, the camera is the Polar Vista, and it's on a nice dampening system, so no jello. The brushless motors are 3850 kV. On the bottom of the drone, you can see the Cadex Vista system is covered by a carbon fiber plate. Also looking here, you can see the F4 flight controller. Here we have the polar antenna that goes along with the Vista unit. If you buy additional four cell batteries for this drone, make sure the batteries have an XT30 connector. A cable lead is provided to power an external camera. Total weight of the drone without a battery is 158 grams. And now I'll show you the additional items I found inside the box. One would be spare props, the next would be spare propeller guards, and the third one would be these bumpers. Also a battery strap as well as a skid plate for the bottom of the drone. And there was also a camera protector, a pile of screws, and what looks to be like a crossfire antenna attachment. And finally, there was a battery grip plate and some instructions on the Polar Vista as well as GEPRC stickers. And now my final thoughts on the GEPRC Cine Log 30. Well, if you watched my video on the Cine Log 25, my thoughts are identical. They haven't changed at all. This was a very, very good drone and still is a very good drone and you can still buy it in digital or analog. 
and this is equally as good and you can buy it in digital or analog. It's just larger in size so you can put a larger battery on it and get more flight time. Uh, the Cadex Polar Camera seems to be pretty good. I thought the image looked well in my goggles. I didn't take it super long range. Uh, this is not a long range drone so it's not designed to go super far but the video transmission was pretty decent for where I was flying. Now if you're thinking of getting one of the Cine Logs, the 25 or the 30 in analog or digital whichever format you want to get let me tell you the following. It's a hard, hard, difficult choice because they are both under 250 grams and you can put a battery on either of them and they'll still remain under 250 grams. And you can put a camera on both of them and depending on the battery you put, they'll still be under 250 grams. It's, they are so light in design. Yeah, it's pretty amazing. So they have the same range. It doesn't matter if they're analog or digital uh, for flying around here because you're flying low to the ground. It's just the image coming back to you uh, is a lot better in the digital format. And they can do pretty much the same thing. One is just larger than the other. So this is going to be my opinion right now just to help you out. If you're going to fly 100% outdoors and never fly indoors, then obviously this one here, the 30 is best because, you know, with wind and stuff like that, it's probably going to do a little bit better in the wind, bigger props, a little bit more weight, but uh, overall. But if you're going to do more flying indoors uh, or going into tight, tight, tight underneath things, tight, tight, tight um, spaces or whatever, then you'd want the smaller version, the 25. That's that's about the only advice I can give on the two because they're both really good drones. So for now I say, if you enjoyed this review, please give it a thumbs up. If you have questions on the 30 or the 25, just put them below and I will get back to you. The links are down here someplace. I've put links to, uh, this is on the GetRC website, links to there. I think it's also available on Banggood. Banggood's pretty good because if I ask Banggood for a discount code, say if this is sold on Banggood and, and I ask them for a discount code, they'll give me one. So sometimes you can buy a product that I show on my channel and if you buy it off of Banggood, you might get it for a lower cost because there's a discount code as well. So I believe these are on Banggood and if they are, I will have a discount code below for Banggood. All right. So go check everything out. And like I said, if you have questions on either of these, I love them both. Can't go wrong with either ones. And yes, as a beginner, you could fly these because they're so, 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 uh, they're so docile. They fly so nice. So with all of that said, I say thanks for watching and we'll catch you in the next video. Bye.